In the early afternoon of July the 17th, 2014, a Boeing 777-200 of Malaysia Airlines departs Amsterdam Airport Schiphol for Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The flight is prepared as usual, and the aeroplane is in an airworthy condition. On board of flight MH17 are 283 passengers and 15 crew members. The routing of this flight leads via Germany, Poland and Ukraine to the east, a standard routing to Asia that many airlines use. Flight MH17 enters Ukrainian airspace at an altitude of 33,000 feet, following airway Lima 980. The crew diverts a short distance to the north to avoid some thunderstorms when returning to the airway in the eastern part of Ukrainian airspace. In this region, an armed conflict between the Ukrainian government and armed groups is in progress. Therefore, lower levels of the airspace are restricted for civil air traffic. Flight MH17 is routed above this restricted airspace to waypoint Romeo November Delta in the Russian Federation. Until that moment, the flight proceeds normally. When flight MH17 is above the eastern part of Ukraine, a Buck surface-to-air missile system fires a missile. It travels almost at three times the speed of sound and carries a 9N314M model warhead. Inside it is an explosive core surrounded by two mantles containing preformed iron fragments. Radar guides it to its target, where it is detonated by means of a proximity fuse. A Buck surface-to-air missile can reach an altitude of 80,000 feet, exceeding the flight altitude of flight MH17 by far. At 20 minutes and 3 seconds past 1, this warhead explodes to the left and above the cockpit of MH17. About 800 preformed fragments perforate the aeroplane. This impact, combined with the blast of the explosion, causes the cockpit and the business class section to separate. As it descends, the aeroplane disintegrates.